they just grabbed some Morlug from a boat. He's got his little Mortal Kombat Raiden hat on to protect him from the sun. I found the kitchen. But what's cooking? What's cooking? What we cooking today? So, if you ever forget to bring money, don't worry. <laughs> they take a uh, yape. You can pay by your phone. <laughs> what's Waliki? Waliki is uh, like. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm okay. Yeah? And that's in Naimaran. Good morning. We're in Puno. Sunny Puno. And it's the morning. A whole new start to a whole new day. We're going to have a little look at Lake Titicaca. Maybe a bit more in detail tomorrow. And have a look at Puno in the daytime. See what it has to offer. Uh, I got so many mosquito bites from uh, Machu Picchu. Unbelievable. It kept me awake at night actually. Uh, about 30. So I've had my vitamin B complex, some alcohol, and hopefully uh, it'll go away. But, yeah. Let's check out Sunny Puna. <laughs> so, you may be wondering what we're on. But look at those jugglers. So we're on a little bicycle. I've seen them a lot in Puna. And it's only uh, 3 solas, 75 cents, for a nice cycle all the way to the lake. It's about a mile. It's not bad, is it? Um. Hola! Our little bicycle driver is really helpful, nice guy. And then he demanded 3 solas each. Unbelievable. So, yeah, before you get a bicycle, Say, is it each person or is it for everybody? Pro tip. So, Lake Titicaca, home of Cornholia and his teepee. Is his teepee from uh, Titicaca or maybe Puna? <laughs> look how confused she is. Yeah, Titicaca, look. It's alright, isn't it? We've got some statues, little lighthouse. Nice little area, look. You got a guy making some things. The Titicaca welcome sign. And here we can get tours. We can get a tour to an island. See some uh, indigenous tribes that apparently want a lot of money from the tourists, our friend said. But we're going to have a look. We're going to have an explore. There's a general up there. Wow, it's nice. It's really weird, the weather here. It's really hot in the day. T-shirt and shorts weather. Then uh, when it hits midnight, freezing. And in the morning, 6 a.m., it was negative one. So, what's that in Fahrenheit, like 30? Cold. But right now, super sunny, and we're coming into winter. Look at this. Little swan lake there, you can do your paddle boats. Wow. The water is a little green at the start, not gonna lie, but it is a harbor. I don't think you can exactly go swimming. Oh, look at this. Are you making deals? She's making deals. What do we have here? Got some uh, little flute, look. Peruvian pipes. Wow. It's funny, we have that one, but it says Paracas on it. Wow. So, let's talk about Lake Titicaca. So, Lake Titicaca. What do we know about Lake Titicaca? Well, coming from the UK, not much, but we know something. So Lake Titicaca, the highest navigatable lake in the whole world. And what do I mean by navigatable? Well, there's boats and you kind of drive on the water. There are lakes higher, but generally there's just a few fish in there and you don't really you know, get a huge boat and go on it. Anyway, that's their claim to fame. But it is the highest lake in the whole of South America. So we're sitting at an elevation of just over 12,000 feet. 
so it's pretty hard you know to do anything walk run uh, which is almost 4,000 meters of elevation so. hey oh 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 yes uh, elevation Lake Titicaca Puno yes ah I forgot so Lake Titicaca now Lake Titicaca has floating islands you can't really see them they're kind of over there you can get a boat trip and get one of these boats go on over there but make sure you get a good rate I think they said uh, what 20 soles and it gets you a nice tour of two islands and you get lunch as well so don't pay much more than that it's a nice day trip anyway what is on the islands well the islands are made by indigenous tribes called the Oros and the Oros they predate the Incas so they were here before the Incas so the Incas come along they're conquering all of South America they're moving down and down and down through Puno as we know today so um, Incas came along pillaged plundered stole raped everything else Spanish they do exactly the same thing so the Oros the Oros tribe they've seen it all before they've lived through the bloody Incas the bloody Spanish. And they, today, they're still here. They still sit here today. And what they do, they build islands out of these things here. What are they called again? Totora. Totora. So it's like a reed. So every now and again, you know, every few months, the islands start sinking a bit. So they get more Totora, put it down. You know, that way their home doesn't go in the water. It's quite interesting, isn't it? But yeah, the uh, Oro language now, the Oro language is phasing out. It's almost gone. So I think they said in the early 2000s there was a handful of people that still spoke it. But nowadays they uh, speak Quechua, Spanish or Aymara. They're the three languages in the area. In the area of Puno anyway. Uh, I'm not talking about Peru. Peru is so diverse. But in this region, those three. But we're going to try and find someone who speaks Aymara, hopefully. We found someone that speaks a bit of Quechua. That was interesting. And maybe, if we're lucky, we'll find someone that speaks Spanish. I'm not sure. <coughs> but yeah, the, yeah. But the Euro language, yeah, nowadays a few words have just been passed down, so you may hear a couple. But in terms of finding someone that speaks the whole language, sadly it might be forgotten and lost in time. One for the history books. But yeah, Lake Titicaca. Goodbye, SS Puna. There's a lot of SS Punas here in Puna. So we're getting a boat. We've chartered a boat to Oros. We're gonna have a look. But we're gonna get our drinks and snackers now, then it'll be cheaper. Because I think the island is a lot more expensive. So we're gonna get some drinks, have a pee pee, and then we're gonna, gonna go on a journey. It's only 10 solas each, which is around 250 in dollars. Pretty cheap for a boat ride. And then the island itself has its own entry price. So uh, locals, five solas. El Gringo, ocho solas. Eight solas for me, but not bad. Bad. Y esto sin contar los brazos. Sin contar con el que tienes en la cabeza. <laughs> what do <opinas>? Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at this. Oh, you got to pay now. You got to pay right away. And then you can get on. Look at that. Oh, that was quick. Let's have a look in the boat. Oh. bus. It's like a bus. Wow. But well, we're going to go upstairs. I think you get a better view of that. Might be more interesting. Wow. <laughs> Alright, we're going. We're going to the island in 15 minutes. So, I must have browned up a bit. 
because he wanted 18 solas before but now I'm getting charged the local price of uh, 15 it's alright isn't it not bad alright we're ready I think that means we're ready Oros Dear Solis, Oro Island, Barato, Barato, Pesele, Pesele, Pesele. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Pro salesman right there. <gasps> what? Why are you hiding? I'm not hiding. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. We're gonna visit the uh, Orioles. Do you know any uh, songs to do with the water? maybe 20, 30, you know, houses. It's a whole community. Look at this. You see all these places here, look. All made out of the Totora. All the way around. Whole community. Everyone pretty much has a boat to look. There they are welcoming us. Look at this, look. Amazing, isn't it? People actually live on here. So we've just stopped on our boat. The ladies are tying up our boat for us, look. They just caught it and everything. Look at the ground, it's like one big barn. One big Totora barn. Yeah, there's even little seats up there at the ladder. Houses made of it. They even have their own little lake, look. It's hard to see because of the sun. And a Platano Totora. And, uh, even people getting fresh Totora, look, every day. So, look at this. There's some fish. Oh, yeah, look. Is that trout? Crucia. Hard to say, really. Look at that. Amazing. It's actually really soft, look like a sponge. Like a pillow. We're on an island. We're on an island, a very unique island. And people live on this island. A group of people called the Urus. Now the whole island is made up of these, look. They're like reeds called uh, Trusha. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 
and they're pretty much everywhere around here, kind of like indigenous to Lake Titicaca. And what they do, they make the houses, even the floor, the entire floor. And this floor gets replaced every two weeks. And you can imagine these islands, the, the square mileage of them is absolutely crazy around this whole area here. And it's the men that deal with the trusha, the women, they knit the clothing and all the other bits. But I don't know if you can see down here. So here's the trusha that we're walking on, see? And you lift this up, oh my, oh, it's heavy. And you can see downhill, it's the lake. The lake is only two feet below us. Pretty crazy, isn't it? So all of this will get replaced every two weeks. Obviously not some of the structures here. You can see here, there's a giant snake. Okay. <laughs> and everyone sits on that. Well, they, I guess, tell stories. Welcome tourists to the island. Various other things. It's quite interesting. And the language they speak here is a uh, Uruiz, but I think it's kind of dead now. I don't know if many people speak it anymore. So it's pretty much Quechua and uh, Aymaru. Aymara? Aymara. Hard to remember the words. And Spanish, obviously. So they're the three languages they speak around here. But there was an Uru kind of language before. But yeah, died out. But today, some people still use some of the words. But uh, yeah, look. It's amazing, isn't it? We have... Uh, well, these are bananas with uh, cat heads on them. Look at that. <laughs> and apparently it's 10 solars to take a boat ride. But you can see, look at this. You can see it's only two feet deep. And it's crazy that all of this would get replaced every couple of weeks. Every day, look, they bring in new trusha. They're doing that right now. Let's have a look. So they just grab some more, look, from a boat. He's got his little Mortal Kombat Raiden hat on to protect him from the sun. So he's probably just picked that from over there. And they're just bringing it on the island, cutting it up, and laying down new flooring that we're standing on now. Crazy, isn't it? So the Trusha is full-time job, pretty much. And the island has a president. The president, he said it changes every year. Every year they get a new president. But, uh, very unique. Very unique to Lake Titicaca. Let's see what we can find. Look. Oh, there's no water in there. Oh, there's a bucket in there. So they just make everything out of Trusha. The floor, the buildings, the everything. Look at this, and it's just kind of... It has the consistency of a spring onion, you know, like a green onion. Wow. So, we have a friend that lives in Puno. We have a friend in Puno. And he wonders about um, some of the things they do here. He calls it a scam. I think a scam is a loose word. But they put clothing on you, take pictures, and then they kind of want money from you, maybe five, ten dollars or something like that. But he called it a scam. Maybe it's just making a living, I don't know. I suppose it's quite hard to uh, get money here, you know. You have to rely on all the trusha, but also tourism too. So. That's why you see a lot of the shops here, behind me, selling things. Trinkets, bracelets, and uh, yeah, even throwing clothing on tourists, trying to get a bit of money. Look at him. So these are some of the things they're selling here, look. Pretty much similar things to Puno, really, on the mainland, Cusco. But uh, look at this. We found uh, a non trusha building. I wonder if the president lives here, or maybe it's the banya. I'm not sure. It looks like a proper house. Look. I found the kitchen. Look. What's cooking? What's cooking? What are we cooking today? Oh, they look like mushrooms or something. Some uh, fish bones. Maybe they make a stew with that. 
But look at these cooking pots. They look like uh, witches' cauldrons, don't they? Look at that. Oh, it's a potato. It's a potato stew in there. Do you want some potato stew? It's ready. Wow. Hey, look at the boat. It's not bad, is it? It's actually made of wood. Oh no, there's true shit in there. Look inside it. But then they put some wood on there. Trusha, wait. I've been saying Trusha the whole time. The whole the whole island is made of trout. Unbelievable. You can't take me anywhere. Fucking hell. So, if you ever forget to bring money, don't worry. They take a uh, yape. You can pay by your phone. They're sophisticated on the, the old Urus. May not look like it, but they're ahead of the time. Got a bit of solar power there. Perhaps some internet too. Oh, look at that saw. Oh, and there's a cat, look. Look at this. Hello. Are you enjoying the Trusha? Trusha? Shit, I did it again. Totora. I am bad at Spanish. Just found this bowl of uh, fish. The bird in here, look. Bird feet. Some uh, mini fishies there. I think the cat was trying to get free fish. And they weren't having any of it, so she shut the lid. But some behind the scenes. Everyone's gone on a boat ride, look. It's a 10 soles boat ride. But I thought, oh, why not stay behind? See what the locals are doing. He's untangling his uh, little fishing net there, look. She's going into a little house. And they're building a real house. It's alright, isn't it? But the water, yeah, freshwater lake. And it's pretty deep, surprisingly deep. Can't even see the bottom. I took a uh, Totora. See, I'm remembering now. I tried to touch the bottom. No, I don't know how deep it is, but I can't touch it with a with a true ship. Eh, uh, no joking. Totora. Ah. Oh. So, if you wondered how they wash their clothes here, you get some water out here, look. What it looks like. And you get the clothing. They're drying right now, look. They're airing out. Get the water out the lake, wash the clothing. And then, uh, yeah, hang it up. Or just put it in the sun. Look at that. They're drying out right now. Got some on a line there. Pretty old school, isn't it? Pretty old school. Not a bad little island, actually. I mean, it's crazy because the islands just keep going and going and going. I guess they bring the tourists to this one because they have it kind of all set up with the seating and stuff. But, um, yeah, for the most part, I just can't believe how many hundreds of people are here. But it does look like on the other islands they have better housing, like made of wood and things. So. Curious about that, but. ¿Cómo estás en Aymara? Camisaraki. 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 Y si quiero responder muy bien. Waliki. Waliki. What's Waliki? Waliki is like. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Yeah, and that's in Naimaran. So this is kind of what it looks like underneath our feet right now. You can see the um, Totora here, <laughs> Trusha, Totora, and then there's this kind of thickness of soil where all the roots are, and then underneath, kind of just the lake and the water and everything. I'm not sure how deep they said it was, but yeah, it's amazing to think all of this is just floating, floating on a lake. So one thing I noticed was. Um, they bring the tourists to the island with all the Totora, you know, the Totora houses, everything made of Totora. Then I was kind of just like looking across the bay, you know, far away from us. It's quite nice, isn't it? But then I see all these like kind of nice houses with real roofs and solar power, gas, water, all these kind of things. So I think it's. I think it's a case of more like, this is how we used to live, rather than this is how we currently live. 
I don't, I don't really know how it's marketed because it was all in Spanish. But um, you know, I, I find it hard to believe people live like this all the time. But I do appreciate that some people perhaps do. But I also feel it's a bit like uh, you know, like Truman Show for the tourists, just by you know looking around. But needless to say. It's history, isn't it? You know? It's history. And at some point in time, people did live like this, you know? People did get boats full of Totora, relay the floors every couple of weeks, and even build a giant fish on sticks out of Totora. So, well. I'm in the inner ring. I found a sink, look, and a generator. I knew it. Okay, I'm going inside the fish. I'm gonna have a look inside. Wow. How good this. I'm in the fish's mouth. I'm in Moby Dick. What can we see? Look at that, we can spy on our neighbors, look. So we have like a whale or a fish here, and they have a duck over there. I think that was an angry man telling me to get down in Quechua, but I'm not sure. Wow. So they took the ten sellers boat to get some lunch over here, and now we're just picking them back up again. But um, don't underestimate the power of the perro. You will find a dog anywhere. It could be a remote island, it could be Tuvalu, it could be Antarctica. You will always find a perro. Hey perro! Hola perro! He does have wet feet though, he's been doing something mischievous. Oh, and there's Lake Titicaca, look, right here. Amazing. I think I've found the ricketiest tower ever. Look how high it is. Watch this. <laughs> it's so rickety. Look, look at this. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and there's the island, look. Look at that. What do you think? Scary. <laughs> oh, hello. I get him. Hello. Hello. I have two friends. Hello. Hello, huh? What are you doing? Look at this. I have a new friend. New friend. Oh, you're a lot cleaner than the other one. So we tried to get a passport stamp, he said it cost one sol, and then he immediately said it's two solas, so we didn't but get a passport I, I stamp. Him, I asked him first, and then he, he saw you, and then he changed his oh, mind. Oh, gringo price. Ah, damn it. Never mind. We don't need a passport stamp. So what did you think of the Uru's Islands? We heard a bit of Aymaran, a bit of a surprise there from a local fisherman. And uh, yeah, the passport stamp, what do you think about that? Has that ever happened to you before? There are money for everything, bloody Uruz. Anyway, next video, stay tuned because we're going to a little, little village outside of Puno. And then after that, we're going to go back to Puno and actually explore Puno itself. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you next time.